Greetings, the assassin here. Uh, I'm going to do a quick weekly wrap. It's a little bit early. It's only <clears throat> 1 o'clock. we got a few more hours of trading. And as you know, the last uh, few hours of trading could be pretty uh, volatile. Um, but real quick, on the weekly chart of the SPY, um, here's what I'm seeing. Um, you got the head and shoulders pattern that, that broke. We came down, <clears throat> sort of bounced off the lows of around 110, which is about the, the high of last summer. Um, one of my last posts, I was kind of looking for a nice little rally. We got into some SPY calls in our market timing service. We closed out of those today for a 30% gain in about two days. And what caused me to get bullish um, for the week, at least, was the ADI indicator here had an extreme low reading um, of negative 1500. And we kind of got a nice little bounce here. Um, <clears throat> the ADI, if you, if you go back on our on the main page of the blog and you click ADI in the tag cloud, you'll see some posts about this, but you can see how when the ADI is extremely bullish, uh, you know, give it a week or two and we got a nice run down here, extremely bearish, got a nice run up here, extremely bullish, got a nice run down here, extremely bearish, got a nice run up. So this is a nice contrarian indicator. So this is telling me that uh, we got a nice rally. I don't know if it's going to continue. Uh, but let's look at the let's bring this down to the daily chart. A couple things happening on the on the fib um, fib lines from the recent high to the recent low have kind of come back and we're sort of testing the 38.2 uh, retracement. And you know next week you know if this breaks up here, I think we can possibly get up to the 61.8 which is going to put us close to the 200 moving day average and actually back to the neckline of the head and shoulders. Um, but one thing that's coming out is this uh, is the death cross, <clears throat> which is going to be here, uh, I don't know, probably early next week. Um, depending on how the news people play this, you know, it may not be a big issue or not. Um, but Nonetheless, if you start seeing the word death in the news, it's probably going to affect some people. So um, <clears throat> what I'm looking for now, since I'm out of my calls, I'm, I'm seeing if this is going to close above the 38.2 or if we're going to retrace. If we start to retrace, I might jump in uh, some puts or something here or getting short. And then if 110 does not hold, which I'm kind of on the bearish camp right now, I don't think it's going to hold. Uh, we may have to get all the way back up here before we test it again. I think we're going to at least test the 110 level on the SBY. But if we um, if it breaks, we're kind of looking at this extension down here, which sort of co coincides with last summer's low. And you'll probably hear this on different blogs and things about retesting uh, last summer's low, which is going to put you about a thousand, uh, maybe 1020 on the SPX. Um, <clears throat> that's all I got for now. Uh, we still got three hours of trading, so we're not quite sure where, where this is going to close. Uh, be sure and sign up for the blog if you haven't already. Uh, if you sign up to the right of this video on our main page, you'll get email updates from the blog. You'll also receive the 100 top optionable stocks and ETFs. And all of our email subscribers are going to receive a huge lifetime discount on our market timing service that we're looking to launch in October. And this will be a, a S S&P 500 timing service and uh, we're definitely interested in getting our subscribers in first for a low cost before we uh, put it out to the rest of the world. So hopefully you guys will sign up and again please give us some comments and give us some tweets and, and have a good weekend.